Dr. Dana Selby here with Allison Baker, a third year kinesiology student at Guelph Humber. And we are going to be performing straight legged deadlifts and good mornings, two exercises which are very effective for strengthening up your hamstrings as well as the lower back region. Now, this is what's called a closed chain exercise. It's a very good exercise if you've had a knee issue because your feet are in contact with the surface area. If your feet are kicking out in outer space, performing an exercise, it's an open chain, which can put more stress through the knees. So this is a good one. So when you're doing a straight-legged deadlift, you want to be holding the weight. Now you can either have an alternating grip, where one hand is in front, one hand is behind, or you can have both hands in the same direction, whatever you're more comfortable with. Now you're going to keep those shoulders pulled back and down throughout the duration of this movement and as Allison goes through this movement she's only going to go as far as she can keeping her lower back straight which is the natural inward curve to her lower back. As soon as she starts to lose that curve then she's lost a neutral or a straight lower back position. Now she's set herself up for risk of injury. So when she starts to lean forward at the waist. Go ahead and perform a repetition, please, Allison. She wants to make sure her lower back stays straight. So she's only gonna go as far as this, into this as she can, keeping her back straight. Her weight shifts back onto her heels a little bit, and then she returns to standing. Now the weight that she's holding will be a weight that she can perform as many repetitions as she wants to with good form. If her form breaks, because the weight's too great, she needs to drop her weight. Do a couple more of those, please, Allison. Now you can see that there's a little bit of a bend to the knees. That's to protect the knee joint. You don't want to stand on a locked out knee. Keeping that back nice and straight, the natural inner curve, her lower back looks great. And as she comes out of that, she's going to really feel those shoulder blades come together as well. Give those shoulder blades a good pinch. Perform a couple of those, please, Allison. Now that weight is going to extend down, and if you find that it's more comfortable, you can even let that weight come out from the body line a little bit, and you can have more of a vertical alignment from the arm all the way down to the hands. Okay, very nice. Now a good morning is with the weight across the back of the shoulders as opposed to holding it into the hands. Now with this exercise, Feel the weight in a comfortable spot. Some people like it resting right at the back of the neck. Some people find it's more comfortable a little bit further down. Find a position that works for you. Make sure you're stabilizing the weight with both hands a comfortable distance apart between the hands. Now the same principles that we just discussed are going to apply to this exercise, the good morning. Allison's going to lean forward, breaking forward at the waist. Again, only going as far as this as she can, maintaining that natural inward curve. Allison, go a little bit more forward. You can see that her back is much flat, even more so, and now she's completely lost that natural inward curve. This is not good form. Of course, she's much deeper into the exercise. This is setting herself up for an increased risk of injury. It's not to say she will injure herself, but you can see when her back is flat like this, it's not straight. It doesn't have a mechanical advantage. Okay, go back out of that. Now perform a couple with good repetition, or with good form, please, Allison. Good straight back position. Now what I'm liking is Allison is stopping. She's breaking up her momentum both on the downside and on the upside of this exercise. When she keeps moving, momentum works in her favor, making the exercise easier. If she stops and she breaks it up, she has to overcome what's called the moment of inertia, meaning that once her body is stopped, it wants to stay stopped. Newton, objects in motion remain in motion, objects at rest remain at rest. So do stop the movement, break up momentum, make it harder for yourself. If you do have questions, leave a comment below and we will get back in touch with you.